It's one of the hardest turkey seasons I've ever had. How's it going? Camo fam, I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Guys, today I have to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is High C. If you've been here for a while, you know that I've been sponsored by High C before, way back in deer season, and I killed the biggest deer of my life wearing those boots. Just so happened, they sponsored me again in the spring, and I killed the biggest turkey of my life in these boots. So I want to give a big shout out to High C. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy. Peace. So, this is only 15 minutes into the hunt, and as you can see, Mr. Coyote decided he just wanted to come out today. But also, this is not the first run-in I've had with this coyote. So after the coyote, I just kind of caught it quits until this happened. I just left the spot I was hunting with a bow to go hunt somewhere else with a gun. But I seen the back of the property I was hunting and there's a bird in full strut. So I'm about to grab the gun real fast. I want to see if we can get back here and get a shot on this bird. So I'll see you guys when I get back there. Peace. All right now, there is a strutter back here by itself. We're gonna go see if we can make this happen. I know this is entirely too close, but I don't have the right lens right now. So when I see this turkey, it is on the back side of a hill by itself, just strutting, doing his thing. But the thing is, I had to get over two fences and run down a hundred yard alleyway to beat this turkey to the open field on the back side of this hill. Finally, after my long jog to the field, I make it to the top of the hill and I open my fan up to see if the bird is still there. He's right over his hill. The floor struck. There he is right there. Let's see if we can get him to come in. Looks like he is. Yes, sir. Alright guys. Wanna work on pop up there? He's close. At this point the bird is within a hundred yards and is walking straight towards me. Let's go guys, there he is right there. Let's go look at this bird. Just like that, I was tagged out in Kentucky. All right guys, we did it. Not whatsoever I expected this hunt to go, but sometimes it just goes how it goes. Now honestly, I wouldn't change a single thing about it. This. This season has probably been one of the harder seasons I've ever had. Like, it's my first year doing this stuff by myself. I gotta give a great big shout out to Pops, because none of this would be possible without him, so. Thank you, Dad. Love you, old man. Big thank you to you. I'll never be able to do any of this without you, so. Just a big shout out to you for that. But, uh, I can, let me explain how this morning went to you guys. So, first things first, I set up back here with my bow. I just know I'm about to get done with the bow today, so I'm more than excited. So I'm sitting back here in the corner, I have my decoys up, I'm only sitting down about 15 minutes, and a coyote comes out. So I was getting up to leave to go to a different place. He was back here strutting all by himself. And I knew that if I could get back here, I had a great chance to kill him. So I changed out my bow for the gun. I got within about 200 yards of him, and that's when I started opening up the thing. And he was gobbling, but I couldn't hear him. I couldn't hear none of his gobbling. So uh, eventually he finally decided to start coming into the van. And the whole time he was coming, he was going full 
full strength, out of strength, full strength, out of strength, half strength, full strength, the whole way in. And then finally he dips over into another hill so I can't see him no more. And so I have to stand up just to see if I can see him. And at this point when I stand up to look at him, he's at about 60 yards. And so I pick the fan up again, I put it in his face, he comes out of strength and starts walking the rest of the way. He came out of strength completely and walked the rest of the way. Where I was on top of this hill, the sun was on me and I just stuck out like a super thumb. Came over that hill, he noticed something wasn't right because I put the fan down and I was already aiming for where he was going to pop up at. And as soon as he came over here, he stuck that head up and I knew I had to take that shot. That was the only shot I was going to get. And so uh, I took the shot and you see what happened. I'm going to go ahead and get this bird out of here and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, can't walk it out. Peace. Pants ripping? No, I'm straight.